good evening everybody it's Tom Christie back in the painting studio I'm actually working on a Drake Mallard but um, this video is going to be focused on painting and painting the head of a common golden eye Drake a common golden eye was the first bird I ever did this this particular decoy uh, that I made in 1986 long time ago but I used this in my hunting rig with two other golden eyes for many years and got a lot of joy out of using that on the Portage River in uh, northern Ohio. Anyway, this video will be on an upgraded golden eye drake that I did recently and uh, I'll include some reference photos of the, the head, the finished head for your reference as well. I do have a full length uh, video on painting that not this, but that uh, upgraded golden eye drake uh, on my website at tomchristieart.com in case uh, you want to take a look at that for from beginning to end or have that. Those are for purchase along with about 15 other uh, species over there. So you might want to check that out if you're looking for beginning to end, but I thought just painting the head would be helpful for some people to get a start. So here it is. For the bill base coat, I'm just gonna use straight carbon black. These are all Josanya colors, unless I mention otherwise. So this is probably 50-50 thalo green. It still looks black, but next to the straight carbon black, there is a a little bit of a difference. Just a very deep dark green shade because there are there is iridescence on the head and we want a nice dark base to start with to convey that iridescent shine that we put on the some areas of the head. And then I am once that's dried, I'm going to go over the head again with another coat just to make sure it's consistent. I've pre-mixed some Josanya Thalo Green in an offline container and got that at the right consistency and then loaded the airbrush with that. And we're going to go in and highlight the side of the crown here and kind of follow a line back along the the back of the head. We'll do a little bit of highlighting here, but primarily in this area. So we'll start with the uh, Josanya Phalo Green. And this is not gonna give us a ton of color. It's, it's more of a foundation for what comes next. I'll hit that on both sides. I'll probably give that a couple of coats and dry it in between and build up the, the color intensity. Now I've got some chroma green interference and I'm going to lay that on next. Then I'm going to use Chroma Yellow Green Interference and just do a subtle highlight to finish things off. This is just a quick shot of that highlighting with the masking removed. Now we can work on some details in this area. It'll knock down that shine a little bit um, as we pull some detail through that area. Next, I want to get this cheek marking in place, really make it look like a golden eye. So I 
checked my reference just to get the size and position of the cheek patch and I'm sure they vary from golden eye to golden eye a bit but I'm going to use my off-white and go ahead and block this in the golden eye reference picture that I'm using this cheek patch hugs the bill down below it does doesn't go all the way up to the top of the bill and it comes back just about to the front of the eye and it goes all the way down to the lower mandible. So that's the way I'm going to paint it. Just another note as I'm painting this, I'm trying to keep this uh, paint as thin as possible along the edge. I don't want to create a big hard circle because we're going to come back in and, and add some details and I uh, don't want that paint line to be showing through those details. So just a note. Now I'm adding some details to the white patch. And on this second coat, just to get good coverage, I'm going ahead and putting in some of these details that I talked about. So we get those developed. Your feathers are flowing in this direction, so you don't want the details pointing in the wrong direction. So kind of follow the natural flow of the feathers on the head as you're putting those in. And we'll come back with some bright white and add additional detail to create some depth. Then just to sharpen that, I'm going back in with carbon black and putting some feathers back in into the white. Now I'll work back and forth on that until I feel like it's it's good, but that's the concept. Now I'm going to take some bright white gesso and just the tip of the brush and put in some feather markings, kind of little arcs to indicate that that patch is made up of a number of small feathers. Kind of keep the flow of the feathers in mind. So I'll do that little detail. Then we'll start working on the darker areas of the head. Hopefully you can see that. Adds a little depth and interest and just conveys feather structure. Now I'm going to start with the detail brush and I've got Thalo green with black mixed together. And I'm starting at the back of the head and I want to indicate some feather structure here. So they'll meet in the center of the back of the head. and just kind of creating the, the way the feathers flow down and through this area, through that iridescence. And we'll still let the iridescence shine, but this will convey that there's a number of feathers flowing to the back of the head that make up
So as we go over the top here, again, I'm keeping in mind the center of the back of the head, but these feathers start then curling over and moving, pointing down towards the eye. And I'm just kind of do, doing an overlapping pattern. So a line next to it, further down, further down, and just trying to make it somewhat random so they're not lined up like little soldiers. Those are flowing down towards the eye. You want to keep plenty of water in the paint so that you get a nice smooth line when you're doing this and not a broken line. And these need to be relatively thin. You don't want a big harsh line there. So I'm gonna continue down here and these are curling up in this direction. I try to keep these spaced so I don't get two or three lined up together that draws attention to any particular part of the head. You want really want this to flow as you look at it. And then using that dark green color, which is really the same as the base color of the head, as I wrap down around the face here, it kind of fades out and disappears as you go to the darker areas underneath which I, that's what I want. And as I get close to these, I wanna make sure I'm lining up with the feathers that I've already defined in that face area, in the cheek patch, I mean. I'm gonna work on this and refine it a bit. It's starting to look nice. Now as I move to the back of the head, I'm, I'm going with straight carbon black. So this kind of fades into the dark green, but there's just enough difference in the value that you can see a little bit of indication of these feathers coming together in the back of the head. Here's a close-up of the head with those flow lines painted in. You see they go back to the back of the head and meet back there. And up and over the crest and meet in the middle up here. All right, that's a wrap on the Golden Eye Drake. Pretty quick video, but it might uh, help those of you that are just starting out there or uh, want to tackle a Golden Eye Drake for your hunting rig, give you some colors and, and at least how I go about painting a Golden Eye Drake. You don't have to put all that detail in, but you can use the colors and the base colors if you're just doing a hunting rig. If you're doing a bird for the mantle, uh, you may want to do the full-blown uh, detail paint that I put into that one. Until next time, hope that's helpful, and uh, this is Tom Christie signing out. Good carving to all of you.